Hey guys, it's been a big week or two for me personally. First bit of news is that I've kind of shut down Web Converger. Web Converger, I put that as it being end of life. Uh, truth be told, I haven't been maintaining it for a few years. And uh, I'm of the opinion that I need to like redo it. But at the same time, the effort that I put into a kiosk operating system, my, my old business that sustained me for a few, for about 10 years ago, for a couple of years, um, no one really needs a kiosk, EOS, a kiosk operating system, do they? I don't know. There's also pretty good options, I think. You know, there's Chrome OS. Oh my gosh, I forgot what it was called. Um, and there's... Uh, there's probably some other things I'm forgetting. It's like iPad lockdown mode or something like that that you see in public spaces. So anyway, Web Converger, I'm kind of sh shutting it down, the current incarnation of it, which was a rootfs that um, was maintaining Git. And uh, I, I was patching it through the years and I just kind of stopped and I now admit to doing that, right? The next piece of news is much bigger in some ways because, um, yeah, it's been a tough few weeks sort of flip-flopping about this, trying to weigh up the decision about this. But truth be told, I, I'm planning to leave Singapore with my family and move back to Europe. Now, we have been looking at maybe moving to South Africa, our videos above. Uh, but yeah, the vibe was not super, I mean, South Africa, I was born and raised in South Africa, but it's just such a different country now. And, and I've been spoiled by Singapore. So when I see like a homeless or someone begging or someone coming up to me, I'm like sort of freaking out, to be honest, I'm just not used to it. Uh, in South Africa, you you have those like stark realizations all the time, and uh, I think I can handle myself, to be honest. But like, it gets a bit much, um, especially when my wife and kids are really also not used to that sort of stuff. So I think the plan is to move to England. Though, if anyone has other opportunities, I'm, I'm going to get a I'm going to try and get a transfer within my my employer ThoughtWorks. Um, though, you know, guys, um, I'm open to relocating anywhere because basically I'm just heading towards my parents' place just because it's a base, you know, I don't know where else to go. But it would kind of be ludicrous for me to sort of live in southwest England. Um, and um, it would be even more ludicrous, I think, for my wife, who's more of a city person, shall we say. So uh, you might be asking, why are we leaving Singapore? Well, well the cost of living has got quite um, a, a, bit, a big issue here. Um, we were meant to buy in the last few years because we became permanent residents about four years ago. I think our timing is a bit wrong. <laughs> With COVID hitting, there was a slowdown in, um, there's basically a big lack of supply for the stuff that we can afford. And I mean, it's not to say that there isn't um, stuff we can afford on the market right now. It's just that like the location is key because my kids go to a public school and, 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 ha and, the, and the HCBs have to be kind of close to those. And, uh, and maybe we're being a bit picky because the ones that are close to where my, my kids go to school, they're just not very good. You know, you're, you're paying like almost a million sing dollars for something that's got like a 50 odd year lease. And um, it's just not the, what I imagined, not what, not quite what I wanted, right? Could stay in Singapore, could make a sacrifice, but I just don't want to lower my the kind of my living standards, if that makes any sense. Don't want to compromise uh, too much. I did work bloody hard last year. Um, I think my lack of videos showed for it, but I didn't. I didn't get a raise, and as you well know, my last year my rent up went forty percent, and and, the, and my landlord for where I'm staying right now is going to put it up again. There's a there's a huge issue right now in, in Singapore with rent. It's crazy. It is absolutely nuts, 
and uh, it's not just the rent it's just what what is available in the market is also just kind of depressing um, I mean I still have permanent residency for, for, for a few more years so I might come back when the timing is right <laughs> but I think we I think it'll be kind of interesting for me and my family to sort of sample European life and catch up with old friends you know so hopefully what we're doing is not too crazy right I think I think there's like what do you call it? Room for growth here, room for some stories to be made. Um, truth be told, life has been super comfortable here and um, yeah, enjoyed it. Well, it has been pretty good, but until, until a few months ago when it's just rained all the time. <laughs> I'm very thankful for um, my time in Singapore. It's just that I think there's just more stuff to be had out there and and uh, um, yeah, I'm taking just changing things up. So, first piece of news: um, my original product is end of life. Even though I I said in a blog that it wouldn't be end of life, but I will probably nix OS it or, or come up with some idea to keep it going. I won't, uh, you know, get rid of the, the domain or anything. And I will, anyone who's still using it, I, you know, drop me a, a support email if you have a, if you have any issues or something like that. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm moving in uh, mid-May. And I'm sorry if I didn't get to tell you this news personally. It's been just very recent. Mm -hmm. So it could do with your support. And um, and I hope to see some of my subscribers. I think the bulk of my subscribers are in Europe um, and America, but I don't have any way to get to America. I think I'm I'm too. I don't know. I don't think I'll. I don't think I have uh, the green card stuff. Sounds like a nightmare. Okay. See you guys. Bye.